Robert Parker has been working for Correctional Service Canada for the past 14 years, after an eight-year stint with the Royal Canadian Dragoons out of CFB Petawawa. He became interested in law enforcement and applied to corrections and was hired in 1994 and with corrections ever since. Take your time and remove the clothing out of the way. When he made the switch, he never imagined he'd end up in a place like Afghanistan, but when the opportunity came up to spend a year helping Afghan correctional staff, he volunteered. My experience has been rewarding thus far. The staff that I'm training are really, really happy that we're here and, uh, you know, they're, they're giving their best effort. Okay. You tell them don't move. Sure. Parker is a trainer mentor to the correctional officers at the Sarposa prison in Kandahar City. The prison now infamous for the dramatic prison break orchestrated by insurgents last summer. We need to learn these things because we are uh, using this every single day at the prison. The guards say they've never had this type of training before. And after the incident at the prison last summer, they're very thankful the Canadians are here to help them out. They taught us uh, many things which is very useful for the prison, uh, such as outside escort, inside escort, shooting, uh, defense tactics, uh, control tactics. This is only one phase of the program. The next step will see Canadians doing shifts at the prison alongside their Afghan counterparts. In my opinion, the most challenging job will be to mentor the, all of the officers in the prison to apply all of the classroom and weapons training at the prison on a continuous basis. Ten rounds to the target in front of you. On your and this is only part of the work the four-person team from Correction Service Canada does here. They also help with physical improvements to the prison, with funding from foreign affairs and help from military engineers. The infrastructure program is going very well and we're hoping that our full program is met by the end of this calendar year. These prison guards say they appreciate everything the Canadians are doing to help. In a country where it can be difficult to measure success, that gratitude and the daily improvement in skills makes Parker and his co-workers feel like they're making a difference. We're all, here's a big team, the military and the different government agencies. It makes me feel good that we are having an impact on these people's lives and that's really what it's all about.